This is the second consecutive weekend that people across the United States march and rally to call for stopping anti-Asian hate and violence. In New York City, people have gathered together to raise their voice and fight against racism. My um, parents are immigrants, and I've seen how they've been treated. Um, and because of that experience, it makes me want to further um, advance um, protections and help for immigrants of this entire nation, um, especially given the fact that we are a nation of immigrants and this land was originally taken from indigenous peoples. I got arrested by the cops and all that just because of like, the color of my skin. You know, they like broke into my dorm and they were like looking for like marijuana, you know, and I have a lot of black roommates too, so they just assumed we had a bunch of drugs and stuff like that, you know, it was pretty scary. I could have died that day, honestly, like if I wasn't, if I wasn't a college student and I was just like a regular black kid in Albany, I definitely would have gotten shot that day. It goes very deep in America, starting in the 1800s and all through the, uh, the 20th century. Uh, we've had anti-Asian legislation in our country. Uh, Asians have been viewed as a model minority. I think the, the biggest thing is that uh, just prejudice, honestly, is, is prejudice and this desire to um, treat other people like objects, pe uh, treat people different from you as not your own flesh and blood. According to a survey by the Anti-Defamation League, as much as 17% of Asian Americans have experienced sexual harassment, stalking, physical threats, and other forms of harassment. This is up from 11% a year ago. In particular, 50% of Asian American respondents who were harassed said that was because of their race or ethnicity. 81% of Americans agreed that social media platforms should do more to combat online hate.